What's going on, guys? It's your boy, Burrow 77 coming to you with a little update on what I've been up to and what we have planned here moving forward. Um, as we all know, it's a very slow time in sports right now. If you're not betting golf, uh, there's really not a ton going on. There is some soccer stuff. There's always soccer stuff going on. Smaller South American leagues, Argentina, Brazil, uh, Chile, all those, that st stuff. Uh, I know we had some MLS midweek. Um, and I'm not going to lie to you guys. It's it's just not super um, what I'm heavily into. Uh, I, I st have stayed very busy with Euros and Copa this summer. Uh, I have MLB stuff, and we're going to get to that here in a second. Um, but I want to give you guys a chance to see what it is I've been working on and what we're going to do here uh, for club season. Quickly, just so all of you know, there's not going to be any bets here. That I don't have any bets for tomorrow uh, that I'm going to give out. There's, there's not gambling content involved in this. It's more just kind of scheduling and showing you guys what you can expect uh, for 2024-25 club season in Europe and what I'm going to do tomorrow with a baseball live stream. Speaking of tomorrow, we're going to do a baseball live stream. I'm going to go live at 4.30. We're going to go do that for about an hour, maybe an hour and 15 minutes. And then I'm going to call it um, because I know I said I was traveling last weekend for my cousin's bachelor party right before uh, we went to the Euro and the Copa America final. But I'm taking another vacation with my family. I'll be coming back to my place to do two foot talk Wednesday night at 7:30 with leg as always. And then I will be on the road again. Uh, I'm actually heading over to Ypsilanti for a beer fest in Michigan. Then I'll be sticking around for Saturday after the beer fest to hang out with some of my boys out that way. So I know uh, it's probably a lot of personal information that you don't really care about, but I've been grinding my ass off all season and all year, and especially with Copa and Euros. So I feel like I deserve a little bit of a break before we jump right back into um, club season in August. And I wanna show you guys what I have been working on for club season in August, starting with a little bit of what you can expect from me graphics wise and game wise. We're gonna go over the first weekend schedule for live streams real quickly. And as you can probably guess, we're gonna be talking on August 17th at 11.40 a.m. West Ham versus Aston Villa over in the EPL. This is what I have mocked up for us. I think it's a pretty cool graphics package. It's flexible. I'm able to use it across multiple different pieces of content which is gonna be super helpful for me. Um, and then I just wanna show you guys what it's gonna look like here when we get lineups. Obviously, uh, I just had to use some lineups that I had laying around from Copa America. Um, well, I didn't have to use Copa America. I could use anything from Copa or Euros. It just so happens that Argentina versus Colombia was the last game where I downloaded lineups and it was top on my list. So those are the ones that I used for a demo. Um, this is going to kind of be the format for the live shows. When we get our lineups, I'll be able to come into this graphics package, slap these on quickly, and then we will get ready to talk about the match at about, you know, 50 minutes before the match starts. That gives us a full half hour to 35 minutes where we can discuss uh, different player props and everything we did this summer. And then that gives me plenty of time to jump in Discord, put in my bets, all that good stuff. So expect anywhere from 30 to 40 minute live streams starting on 8.17 at 11.40 a.m. This will be our first match, West Ham versus Aston Villa. So should be a fun one. Next up on 8.17, we'll be going live again at 1.55-ish p.m. And we'll be talking AC Milan versus Torino. I've already kind of pre-checked around on a little bit of lines. I know these games are still a month out, but I do want to make sure that I'm at least covering competitive games where I think that there'll be some value. I was a little bit surprised to see um, how balanced this line is for an AC Milan home game. 
Um, and you guys obviously know I rock with Christian Pulisic. I rock heavy with Chuck Uezi. It sounds like this deal from Arata to AC Milan is kind of done. You know that I found some trends last year with Zapata on Torino. So there is some value here. Um, and I do think that this is going to be a good game and a good way to start talking Serie A this season. Again, this will be at 1.55 p.m. on 8.17. The only reason this will change is if Syria can't get a TV deal done. Tomorrow, they are supposed to be negotiating the TV rights with Paramount+. Plus. Paramount Plus just spent a bunch of money to acquire English Champions League, English League One, and English League Two. Um, so... We'll see what happens with that TV contract. I'm not 100% sure, but somebody's going to end up picking up Syria. So um, just figure out where it's going to be. I've heard some rumors that ESPN is sniffing around. I know that they haven't been outstanding in the past, but I'm really hoping it either stays on Paramount Plus or goes to ESPN Plus. Um, either way, because I already... You know, I, I'm actually not even subscribed to Paramount Plus right now uh, because they dropped the Brazilario. Um, and I, if, if they continue to have Serie A and all that English football, it's uh, $4.99 or $5.99 a month subscription that I'm definitely happy to get because you get Serie A, um, English for, uh, Championship, English First League, English Second League, UCL, uh, Europa and Europa Conference League at minimum, plus the Argentine League, which is going on right now, yada, 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 bunch of different stuff. I'm not a shill. I'm not here plugging for Paramount Plus. If it's on ESPN Plus, I don't care either. I already pay for that, and I get all my La Liga and all my Bundesliga through that. So whatever, wherever it's on, we'll figure it out. I'm sure Serie A will be available uh, with some sort of television deal, and uh, we'll get it figured out. But this is the second game on that Saturday, 8-17. I'm looking to cover. Then we'll keep it moving right into 8-18 at 10.40 a.m. We'll be talking Chelsea versus Man City. Uh, these lines are pretty good on both of these clubs. Um, City away tends to be a little bit more conservative, yada, yada, yada. We'll get into all the football stuff there. But this is a big match. Um, again, it's EPL. It was by far my worst performing league, um, but it's something that everyone's going to want to talk about, and it's kind of in a nice time slot uh, where it's not overlapping a ton of other things I'm super interested in. So we'll go live. We'll talk about this. We'll talk some Cole Palmer. We'll talk Holland, KDB, Foden. Uh, you know, City just got Savio, so I'll be interested to see how much tick Savio gets this year. I'm really afraid he's only going to get like 200 minutes and just rot on the bench when he could be a stud still at uh, – Girona over in La Liga uh, and actually help them compete in their Champions League bid instead of probably getting completely spanked and having a tough time staying in the first division, much like Union Berlin did last year. I have a feeling that, um, you know, there's going to be a lot of tough spots for these first time Champions League teams and, and we'll see how it goes. But Chelsea versus City should be a banger. Line's actually pretty tight right now. City's only uh, minus 120 here on the road, so a lot of good value on the Blues here in their own building. And then last but not least, to round out the weekend, you know we got to do it. Week one, we're always talking Madrid, baby. Hello, Madrid. You know we fucking out here. It's 8.18 at 2.40 p.m. We could honestly probably talk about this one even earlier because I know Madrid's going to be dropping the lineups like three hours early, but... It's on the island playing Mallorca, which is always tough. Mallorca is very good at protecting their home field on the island. So this should be a banger game. Mallorca versus Madrid, 2.40 p.m. on 8.18. So, yeah, that's where we're going with this sort of stuff. I just wanted to give you guys a heads up, show off a little bit of my graphics work that I've been doing, and let you know what you can expect uh, here for the season. Also, if you couldn't tell, I've been trying to make my stuff more uniform. That's why you're seeing a lot of this stuff with borders in the similar color scheme, because I am also very into college hoops in the winter. 
starting in November, I believe. Uh, the college basketball schedule is not out yet. It's July. They just dropped NCAA football, so the basketball hype just really isn't there yet. But when we start getting schedules for NCAA men's basketball, I will be doing night shows as well. Um, I'm looking at maybe three nights a week, maybe more um, for college basketball. And I'm looking to find a couple of people to have on as guests to do college basketball shows. I'm talking to my boy Sidekicks Picks right now, who I've done some college basketball work with before. And yeah, so that's kind of falling in line. And it's, you know, it's a little bit on the back burner right now. Um, just with my focus being all on getting prepared for European club soccer season. It starts in less than a month, guys. I got like 31 days to get all of this stuff done. And, you know, I, I showed you my slides for the four big leagues being Spain, uh, Syria, uh, EPL, and Bundesliga. I have all my graphics, all my templates made up for those in different Photoshop documents. So it's all kind of plug and play. I've ground on that for the last three or four days here uh, this week and put in a ton of time and effort. I hope it shows. I hope you guys like it. I hope you like this little preview and it lets you know where you can find some of my next content. Again, we will be doing an MLB show tomorrow at 4.30 p.m. I really wish I made a snappy graphic and put that over here on the side for you, but uh, I don't know, maybe in post, I'll figure out how to put subtitles in here or something. So tomorrow, 4.30 p.m., MLB stream. And then in August, August 17th, West Ham versus Aston Villa, 11.40 a.m., uh, August 17th at 1.55 p.m. AC Milan versus Torino, August 18th at 10.40 a.m. Chelsea versus City, and then August 18th at 2.40 p.m. Mallorca versus Real Madrid. Those are the first four soccer games we're going to cover as live streams. I cannot wait. I'm looking forward to it. I'm going to enjoy a little bit of my time off here. Uh, be sure to check out the Discord where even though I will be on vacation, I will be bringing my tablet with me. I won't be able to do nearly the level of in-depth research I can do at home in my studio where I got three monitors set up um, and can run some different programs. But, you know, I'll be active uh, with baseball with a couple of bets a day here and there and discord chat and sports all the time so be sure to check that out be sure to like and subscribe here on youtube where i have now conveniently um put the link with the at burrow 772 where you can find me uh on the direct link and everything like that so appreciate your guys' support uh looking forward to a little mlb talk tomorrow on the live stream at 4 30 p.m and then can't wait to get into clubs so um, thank you for stopping by to check this out, and I will see you all soon. Oaks out. Doses.